It's time we answer a question on your stock in a little segment we like to call Your Stock, Our Take. Buy, sell, or hold. I'm going to get to our Your Stock, Our Take of the week. It's on ATS Automation Tooling Systems, Inc. ATA on the TSX trades around $42. It's just under $4 billion in market cap. What does the company do? Well, they were founded in 1978. Plan design, build, commission, and service automated manufacturing and assembly systems, including automation products and test solutions. They operate in five segments, the largest of that being life sciences, then comes food and beverage, transportation, consumer, and energy. Now let's look at financially how the business has performed over the past 10 years and all but one of the last, again, 10 years, it has a solid history of operating income growth and it has posted revenue growth in all but one of those 10 years. So solid track record there. Uh, fiscal last year, essentially 2022, uh, it grew with revenues 53% to 2.18 billion. The company's operating margins were three point or 13.4%, uh, which is within management's current expected range of 13 to 15. 15 would be a long-term target. Uh, Their gap net income grew by 68% uh, in the fourth quarter. Order bookings grew grew by 38%. And the the company does have a net debt position of 966 million, but the debt to equity ratio is slightly, and it's slightly higher, but it's just 1.12 times. Uh, The company has an interest coverage ratio of 5.8 times. so, you know, th- there's some look at its balance sheet as a look at the last quarter and year end as well. Uh, as far as on a valuation basis, the company has a price to earnings ratio right now, trailing of 32.5. Enterprise to EBITDA is around 14. And on a gap basis, it's uh, about, that's on a gap basis, 14.26 times on an adjusted basis. Price to free cash flow is around 24.3 right now. So we see the company positioning itself to be a significant player in the automation industry. The company has been aggressively pursuing acquisitions, which have increased financial leverage due to the debt taken on to purchase these acquisitions, but it remains manageable and could help push the overall margins up to management's long-term goal of around 15%. While consolidated growth was very strong in fiscal 2022, organic growth, while decent, was in the range of 10% in the fourth quarter and may not be enough to justify a PE of over 32. So analysts are expecting continued growth in 2023. If the company's PE can move back closer to, say, the 2025 range, it may look more attractive. They have been run well over the long term and grown revenues, again, over the last 10 years quite well. But we find it we would find it more compelling on a pullback maybe in the 20 to 30 percent range right now we just sit on the sidelines and monitor this company but it does have a good crack, track record of growth for sure you can certainly do worse in the market is what it's 